So a structure plan is a long-term plan for an area. It's usually done for an area where that's already been identified for growth. Um, and it looks at where growth might be appropriate, um, where growth isn't appropriate, and the implications of that growth. So do we need um, more traffic lights? Do we need better walking and cycling paths? Um, better access to open space, etc. So it's looking at growth and how we deal with the implications of that growth. We're at the draft structure plan stage, so we really want to hear from the community what they think of the plan that's put out there. Um, we came to that uh, through community consultation early last year in 2017, so we went to the community and said, you know, what do you love about the area, what do you want to protect and what would you like to improve. We then used that information to come up along with the urban designers and traffic and transport engineers um, with some possible futures, looking at different ways that um, development could be accommodated within the area and then again went back to the community and, and asked what they thought. And then we've re re refined those uh, into the draft structure plan. So a key component is community consultation. Obviously we're planning for an area that is people's homes. Um, and then there's also the, the technical advice. So we've had urban design advice, traffic and transport advice, vegetation and economic advice. Um, and we've put all of those together along with the feedback that we've heard from the community um, into, what, into the draft structure plan, which we're, we're now um, out for consultation on. Currently the area is um, allowed to go up to three storey development, um, so we're not proposing to change that. What we're proposing is to change typology, so um, at the moment a whole range of different housing types can is, is allowed in the area, so apartments, townhouses, detached houses, family homes. What we're proposing is to make it clearer where different housing types are encouraged. So in areas around the Southland train station and the Cheltenham train station, we're encouraging apartment developments recognising that they're close to public transport and access accessibility. Um, and then in the other areas of what we're calling the residential core, we're encouraging townhouses and detached family housing.